Good morning, beautiful people. We are back today with another unnamed cooking show. I am your host, Emily Schramm, and I do this every Monday. And I am not gonna lie, this has been the highlight of my week. I have truly enjoyed filming these. Blake, I feel like you would agree, this was a great idea. So we are hoping you're enjoying these as much as I am. Last week, I didn't even need to put an apron on because that's how quick the meals were. So this week, we're gonna do another quick version, but a little bit more bougie, because it was really simple last week. Everyone, if you do not know, I am in the middle of an MFIT challenge. This is my flagship 21 day program where you cut sugar, you cut alcohol, and you do a few other things, nothing too crazy, but you just track your own progress with the MFIT challenge. And it's been amazing. I've ran this program for almost eight years and we're in the middle of one right now. And just like I said last week, I hate meal prepping. I hate it so much. So my goal with this episode is to give you one of the easiest meal prep options that you can do. It doesn't take a lot of effort. It just takes a little bit of prepping. <laughs> but I promise you it's easy. So if you hate meal prepping, stick with this video. You're gonna love it. So number one, we want to make a lot of things at once. That's the whole goal with meal prepping. And I find that the hardest meal for me is lunch. I can figure out breakfast, I can figure out dinner, but sometimes I go a really long time without eating a good lunch. Or I get lazy and I call Postmates or I go somewhere and I spend way too much money on food and it usually isn't full of good ingredients anyway. So this will save you money in the long run. What I want you to do is when you do this, make it for three meals, minimum. Don't make it for two because somebody will eat it and then you'll be back at square one. So make it for three meals, which means three cans. This is the same brand of the tuna that I used last time. It is organic canned chicken, which I know sounds crazy. You could do this with tuna, you can do this with pretty much any meat, even rotisserie chicken. If you went and bought a rotisserie chicken, you could just shred it up and do the same thing. But we are gonna do with, Griff thinks he's about to eat. <laughs> Canning done. Uh, make sure you recycle. And then what we're doing is we're just getting the vegetables that we have. So I'm gonna start with a cucumber. I never peel my cucumber, I just rinse it. I actually think they taste really good with the skin. My favorite color is actually the color of cucumber juiced. Have you ever seen that color, Blake? Yeah. It, it's just the most beautiful green. It's almost this color of my apron. So we get some cucumber. You're basically saying, what do I have in my fridge that I could put in this chicken salad? And what I try to think of is think of like your old favorite tuna salad, chicken salad recipe. Like what did your grandma or Whole Foods put in your favorite chicken or tuna salad that you really love? For me, it was always grapes. So put in some grapes, a little bit more if you're not doing low carb. Um, a little less, if you're being conscious, you can obviously cut these in half, which would make it a little bit easier to eat, but nobody's got time for that. And then you're gonna do onion. Again, you can omit it if you don't want onion. I think onion makes everything taste good, especially if you're doing like a tuna chicken salad. We're gonna do relish. If you want, you can also do sliced pickles, which works just as well. I've never had this before. Garlic and oil, I like it. I feel like it's gonna add some dill flavor. We have salt, we have pepper if you want it, and then the key ingredient to any salad, tuna or chicken, is mayo. And mayo on the shelf is very bad for you. So this is with avocado oil, this is like crack. If you're not used to eating healthy mayo, it might take a second, but I didn't eat mayo. And then I found this and now I'm an avid believer in eating mayo. It's just so freaking good. And then that's, you know what? I'm just gonna use my hands. And then you're just gonna shred this up. So for crunch, I love two things, sunflower seeds. And this is just straight sunflower. They're not roasted in any oil. So organic and raw. And I really love walnuts or pecans. Pecans are actually better, but I don't have pecans. So with walnuts, I just squeeze them. I don't wanna worry about cutting them up. 
you just squeeze, test your grip strength, and throw them in there. And then stir it in. And then this is what I keep in the fridge. So this is wonderful because there's a few ways that I can serve it. I keep it in the fridge as a whole. And then when I'm ready to eat it, I can do it three different ways. The first way is if I'm not low carb, I'm gonna do it on gluten-free bread, which is usually a perfect pre or post workout. So if I worked out around three o'clock, my lunch would have two pieces of gluten-free bread with this on top. It's just a perfect, I'm gonna get those glycogen storages up and crush my weights. If I'm going lower carb, or maybe you didn't work out super hard, or you don't have gluten-free bread that you like, then you can make little banana boats. I don't know why I called it a banana boat, but you just take a pepper. I already rinsed them, so it's totally fine. And you just make it look super cute. Stuff the pepper, just like so. It is a little hard to get one half of a pepper to get all the protein that you need because you want to, again, get the full can of protein, but maybe two of those. And then option three, extremely low carb, you just get a bed of arugula salad and put this on top. And that is what you do. You save this in your fridge. You can make it however you want, customize it. More grapes, less grapes, more almonds, less almonds, more salt, always more salt. And it's the easiest meal prep that you can think of. So I hope this helps you on your own Cut Sugar, Eat Healthier, Get Jacked program that you might be doing. I'll see you guys next Monday.